Welcome to Fan Fridays, where we answer your questions from Twitter, Facebook, I and have a comments. Question. Why the hell am I wearing the same? It's the magic of TV. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to comment down below or follow us on the social media, and we're going to answer your questions. Starting with Sarah Hodson. I want to produce albino children and spotted pythons. What do I have to do to get them? The question is actually that albinism is recessive, so you need a recessive animal in order to make a recessive animal. So unfortunately, you need an albino children or spotted in order to make an albino children or spotted. In this country, we don't have them, but in Australia, they do have albino children's pythons. So unless you live in Australia, you're kind of out of luck. Okay, number two is gonna be John Mitchell. This is for Chewy. Are you really acting when you get bit, or does it really hurt? It oh. really hurts. Oh, I work Mitchell. near him. I hear him scream when he's not on film. It's, yeah, he's a big baby. It hurts. Trust me. <laughs> yes, baby. Yesterday I was in the room and I could hear swear words from more oh, all the yeah. while. You're getting bit. what were you getting bit by? Um, probably a baby corn snake. Yep. Yeah, baby snake. <laughs> it's probably a baby snake. Tiny tiny okay, this is um this is a question from uh, Twitter account Reptile Center it says, what's your long term vision for? BHB and Snake Bites TV, where do you hope to be in five years? Now that's a tough one because those are two completely different things. BHB as a business, we really just hope to continue to grow and expand our business and provide as many quality of animals as we can. With Snake Bites TV, it's completely different because it's entertainment and we're certainly, we're working on some TV stuff now, we're working on some new things with the internet, so we just hope that we'll get way bigger and be able to spread the word about the passion of reptiles and animals. So. So that, uh, hopefully that answered that. Um, all right, a question from Matt Stanton 414 Sam, how do you like being on the show? You're way better looking than the rest of the crew. I have a question. What camera is he looking for? <laughs> Shut the <laughs> up. Don't be okay, jealous. I don't have much to compete with. Come on. <laughs> that is very George hey. and Chewy. <laughs> Look at this. This is, this is glamour right here. Yeah. We are. We're yeah. about the only two she can So how do you like being on the show? I like being on the show, except for when I have to deal with this idiot. <laughs> she can't <laughs> hardly beat us. <laughs> All right, number five is from SSS Scales. What percentage of your sales are online compared to shows? Are your shows still worth going to? Lori, what do you think? Um... Yeah, I think shows are definitely worth going to. Um, plus, it gives it's fun from the standpoint that you actually get to meet people face to face, you know, and that adds a whole nother level to it. So I think it works out great doing both. Yeah, online sales are a huge part of our business, no doubt about it. But you know, <laughs> going to shows is just a lot of fun, and uh, you get to meet people. The interaction is awesome. All right, guys, last question. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, last question is from Rose Hill. What do you guys think about Justin Bieber's pet boa? Oh, jeez. Have you guys he heard about one. this? Yeah, he, he, he told me. The albino. Oh, oh, I told boa. him. I wish it was bigger and it would have been his <laughs> face. <laughs> and that second day. <laughs> hey, I think it's awesome exposure for the reptile house. Oh, yeah. You know, he wants little cool. twink. All these little 12 year old girls are going to start Please. having snakes now because hey, it's just yeah. cool. Justin, Justin Bieber's Bieber all right. And the guy, you know, he's <laughs> giving a bunch of exposure. Oh, he likes Justin Bieber. Uh, Alright guys, I'm a beaver fan and he's a beaver fan. <laughs> make sure to comment down below, send us a tweet or hit us up on Facebook. We'll answer your question next week.